Oh, yes, it is. Well, my husband isn't home yet, but I expect him any minute. Can he call you back? Oh, you can't be reached, huh? Well, why don't you give me the message? I'll get a pencil and write it down. All right. There's never a pencil to be had in this house. I don't know what... Hello, I'm sorry I can't find a pencil, but why don't you just tell me the message and I'll remember it, huh? All right. The meeting's been changed from tomorrow night to Thursday night, uh-huh. And it won't be at 4256th Street. It will be at 1035 65th Street, uh-huh. <laughs> Mike will pick him up on the northeast corner of 27th Street. <laughs> between 6 and 615. And if he can't make it, he's to call Bill Johnson at uh, Plaza 76035. <laughs> oh, I'll remember it. That's perfect. <laughs> Ben. Hello, darling boy. Uh, oh, before I forget, listen, I won't be home for dinner tomorrow night because uh, I'm going to a meeting with the boys. Oh, somebody called about that meeting. A uh, Mr. Sweeney. <laughs> or was it Dreeny? <laughs> Sweeney, Weeny, Dreeny. Barton. That's the name. <laughs> Never heard of him. The message. The meeting's been postponed for a few days, and it's to be at a different place from the other place. And you're to pick up somebody on some corner at some time, and if you can't make it, you're to call somebody at Plaza or something. Somebody, sometime, somewhere, somehow, someplace, somewhere, some... Thanks for a perfect message! Now I can get there blindfolded. <laughs> Listen, why can't you get a message straight? I mean, not all those calls are about my lodge meeting. I mean, some of those calls are about business. Why don't you get your business calls at the office? Well, I do sometimes, but sometimes people call before the business hours. Sometimes they call after business hours. So if they do, I tell them to call my home. So why can't you get a message straight? That's all I have to do. I don't do any cleaning or washing or cooking. I just sit around and loaf all day. So the least you can do is take a message. Look, it's very simple. When, it, when the phone rings, go to the, go to the phone with a pencil and paper, sit down, listen what the person has to say, write it down, and then when I come home at night, you say, darling, here are your messages. Is that so hard? No, that's very pretty. All I have to do is sit by the phone with a paper and pencil and say, hello, this is Mr. Burton's residence. Mr. Burton isn't in right now. Do you care to leave a message? Do I look like your secretary? <laughs> No. What do you mean, no? My secretary is, uh, she's kind of tall, and she's got a long blonde, uh, and she's, um, a little more... You don't look like her, that's... Well, I could look like her if I didn't have to run from the stove to the phone, from the phone to the washing machine, back from the washing machine to the phone. Maybe if I had a little help around here, well, I could... Maybe if you got a few messages straight, I could get to do a little more business, and then we could afford some help around here. Did you ever think of that? Don't you worry. If the message is important, all right, I all take right, it right, down. All right. But just get it straight. That's all I want you to do. Can't you get a message straight? All right, forget about it. I do get it straight. Forget about it. <laughs> Who is Jack Millstream? <laughs> you mean John Riverwell. <laughs> That's the name. I thought you said there were no more calls today. Oh, he didn't call today. He called about a month ago. What did he say? He said you were to call him right back. Just in case he's still alive. What's his phone number? Well, I wrote it down. Oh, uh, you do everything naturally, yes, sir. Here we are. That's it. Please call Jim Water Creek. <laughs> no stream, Riverwell Water Creek. At Chickening 2... Six, three, oh. Oh. Oh, what? There wasn't any room to write down the other number. I... See what I mean? That, that was one of my business calls. You understand? That was one of my business calls. And that shows me just, that shows me just how much you think of me. My secretary thinks more of me than you do. Oh, she does. Well, let me ask you, who darned your shirt? Who darns your socks? Who takes care of you when you're ill? My mother. <laughs> well, your mother never got a message straight. What? My mother! <laughs> when did my mother get a message straight? When we had that quarrel. Which one? 
During our engagement. Which one? The big one. Oh, yeah? I called her up and I said I needed you like a hole in the head. So she tells you I have a hole in the head and I need you. <laughs> you see how a wrong message can ruin your whole life. <laughs> Is it so? Look, it's very simple. Well, let's pretend. Let's pretend I'm coming in for the first time tonight and that you were at the phone and you, were, you, you had written down all the messages on a pencil with pencil and paper, huh? Let's pretend. Then you'll see how it feels, you know? Let's pretend I'm coming in for the first time for the messages, right? Here we go. Oh, dear. Hello, darling. Ah, were there any messages for me today? Yes, Frank Weston called and he said you are to call him at Trafalgar 9, 6606. Now, you see? Is that so hard? So simple. That's all you have to do. Well, aren't you going to call him? <laughs> Who? Frank Weston. He said it was urgent. I wrote the number down. No. <laughs> Here we are. See, I take your messages. That's right. You do. <laughs> what a brain. What a brain. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Frank. When you hear the bell tone, it will be exactly 6.35 and three quarters. When you hear the bell tone, it will be exactly 6.36. That's the number he gave me. Let's get rid of the phone. We gotta get rid of the phone, you hear? We gotta get rid of the phone. Well, if you get rid of the phone, how can I take your messages down? Never mind with the messages anymore. No more phone. That's all. It goes out of the house tomorrow. Finished. Once and for all. That's all. So... Can they take away your car? <laughs> Nobody can take away my car unless they steal it. Or unless the finance company is um, a, little, a little back in the payments. Or but before they take the car, they'll send a few letters and then they'll call and then... <laughs> they called. They called and they took away the car. <laughs> that settles it! No more phone! I'll call up tomorrow, and if they don't take it out, I'll rip it out myself. That's all. Finish with the phone, with the phone, with the phone. Darling, what is Consolidated Utilities? Consolidated Utilities happens to be the electric light company. <laughs> they called. They called. They called. Well, darling, this won't hurt a bit. You see, I'll just go take it. Oh, no.